Scripture. Then said he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the labors are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord the harvest that he will send for labors into his harvest. Matthew 9, 3, 7, 38. How will you partner with God to reach a weary world today? I will slow down and spend time with a hot neighbor. I will call out the potential I see in people around me. I will encourage them to pursue Jesus. I will stop waiting for a solution to problems my family faces. I will be someone's solution. All these three things I shall ask the Lord to help me with to do. I will call out the potential I see in people around me. I will encourage them to pursue Jesus. This is for everyone. This is a, an article written by someone. The, very grateful for that. Devotional, the need. Our world needs to know Jesus now more than ever. You might read that statement and think several different things ranging from it sure does or I'm not so sure, I live a pretty good life. Wherever you might fall on that spectrum and wherever that initial thoughts are that come to mind, when you hear that statement the fact is our world truly does need Jesus now more than ever. You only need to turn on the television for a moment or scroll through the latest news cycle on your smartphone and you're bombarded with the latest statement of, of bad news from across the globe. The truth is, is the world in all its advancements and technology is just as broken as ever. In fact, we are so bombarded by bad news that psychologists have noted that regular, regularly consuming news can lead to detrimental effects on your mental health. The point is this. Our world is broken and hopeless and there is something wrong, something missing. So what is the solution? You are. Well, more specifically, the gospel of Jesus Christ is. But for every person who calls himself a Christian, the responsibility falls to us to share the good news about what we have received in Christ. Forgiveness for our sin, freedom from evil, unconditional love, grace and mercy, a new birth into the kingdom of God and hope beyond this life. The truth is the gospel is the medicine that heals us from the disease of sin and we are the ones who have been given the med kit and the task of sharing it around. This task is for everyone. Only uh, the next few days this devotional focus on the topic of evangelicalism or in layman's terms reaching your world for Christ. It will unpack the message and mission of Jesus as well as how he uses us to reach those in our world. It will encourage you in what scripture says as well as provide practical insight into how you can take the first steps to reach others in your world. As Jesus said in Matthew 9, 3, 7, Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the workers are few. Therefore pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest. The harvest Jesus is referring to was one is, is was was that of the people who were desperate for hope, hungry for freedom and longing for God. The same is true of those around us today, whether they know it or not. The need for God's people to take up the message and the mission of Jesus is urgent. Our world needs the gospel now more than ever, and partnering with the Holy Spirit to do this is the most warden thing you can imagine. Prayer. God, give me eyes to see how I can be the answer to your prayer today. Show me how I can meet the needs of the people around me. Help me to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And as I serve you, please let the, let the way I live inspire others to serve you too. Increase the number of people who are loving you by loving others. In Jesus' name, Amen. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest. Therefore, to send out workers into his harvest's field. Matthew 9, 37, 38. 